Hey everybody, it's Dawn here with Dinky Loves Bath and Body, and we're making our March monthly mystery soap, and March is my birthday month, and so I wanted to do something extra special, and we're going to do um, Mermaid March, or March Mermaid, Mermaid March, I keep getting them mixed up. Um, we're using a fragrance from Rustic Accent, hang on, it's late, I'm tired, Rustic Accentuals. I think I'm saying that right. It's sea salt and rice flour. Uh, this does accelerate, so I'm going to have to do each layer and pour it and then add the fragrance, you know, one at a time. So we have got our oils and our lye water solution to trace. Uh, I'm going to add some colloidal oatmeal to this because I like the way it feels. And, um,. It's about a teaspoon. I may add a little extra. Y'all don't pay don't pay a fortune for your colloidal oatmeal. Buy it from Walmart, Equate brand. This is a hundred percent uh right here. If you can see on the camera, a hundred percent colloidal oatmeal. There's no reason to buy it from a supplier and pay a fortune. None at all. And oatmeal is so good for your skin. Um, I have terrible problems with my skin. And oatmeal lotion is my go-to. Okay, we're going to mix this up and we'll be right back. We've mixed in our colloidal oatmeal and now we're going to pour off a little bit to do our first layer. And just so, we're going to use ballet slippers from Mad Micah's. Let y'all see this pretty color. Love this color. Oh, uh, we're gonna use Goldfinger from Mad Micah's. It's really gold. Purple Vibrates from Nurture Soap. I really love Ma uh, Micah's from both of these companies. If you haven't tried them out, try them out. Mad Micah's sends you um, candy. Peacock from Mad Micah's. This is a really a mermaid color. I love this color. And um, that's what we're going to use. Let's see here. We're going to put a little bit in here. I don't want to put too much because I had a customer tell me my soap turned her washcloth a color. And I didn't like that. It's usually about a teaspoon to a pound of soap is what I do. Go to the company's, uh, whoa, usage rates, and you will know what to do. So here we go. We're going to mix this up. You can let it go. Now, this just gives us a pretty green color, and I really would like it to be a little more teal, but I'm not sure... If I can add any more. And it, it may change. I mean, this is not saponified soap. I mean, this soap's, you know, not ready. So it may darken up. And I may just add... Oh, good gracious. I don't have room on this table. I need a bigger office. Okay, we may just add a little bit more soap batter. And a little more... Mike, let me be careful here. Troy, you go on them and she didn't want to. I have children. I have grandchildren, so we're going to have interruptions. But I know it's very annoying to watch someone make soap or make something and their children are crying and they're asking mama for stuff. And, and I know that's life. And I know life's messy, but, you know... I usually shut the door and I lock it just to give me a minute. And um, I don't think nothing's wrong with that. And I don't feel bad about it. There you go again. Now that's a little more of the color that I want. It's still not quite as blue as or bluish green as I would like. But it's going to have to do because I don't think I can use any more without using too much. If that makes any sense. I'm going to give it a little stir. Because I have a few clumps in here. For some reason. 
it's being stubborn and it's not wanting to set up for me or mix up for me. I'm going to put a little bit of the fragrance in here. We're going to mixy mixy. And I'm just mixing by hand because, like I said, this fragrance oil does accelerate according to the website. They've made soap with it before. I have not. I have made a salt bar, and I, it's been so long, I don't remember what it did. So we're just going to trust them. And then I'm going to pour this layer. And because it accelerates, I can make me a, uh, a wave pattern in here. I'm being careful not to get any on the sides. But this soap does not have vanilla in it. Um, it, it says it may discolor a tiny bit. I'm going to give it just a tap or two, get any air bubbles out. And we're going to give that a minute and go ahead and mix up our next color. A little bit less. I don't quite want quite that much. Now, if you look down in here, I've made some indentions because I want this to look like waves. Mermaids are in the sea and doing their thing. And for some reason tonight, I keep getting air bubbles in every batch of soap I make. I don't know if I'm not getting my... Um, Stick blender in there like I need to. We'll spray some alcohol, see if I can kill some of these bubbles. And um, I'm using the same bowl. It don't matter. I mean, you don't have to be so particular all the time. I know some people are very OCD, and and that's fine. You know, everybody's got their own thing. But I don't care. If there's some blue soap on here. I mean, it's not going to ruin my design. I want it to look like an ocean. Okay, we're going to pour a little fragrance, and it does accelerate quick, fairly quickly. It looks like it's changing the color of this one just a, a little. But I'm not stick blending. I'm just gently folding it in here until I can tell. You can look in here and see it when it's mixed well. It's got some minimal rising, not much at all. And this color has a little bit more than the color before, so I may give it a, a zap. I'm tired. I shouldn't say when I'm tired. Just a little. Okay, so here we go. And we're going to pour this so it does not get on the sides of um, the paper-lined mold here. And if you're wondering why these are lined with paper, my husband made these molds, and I haven't bought any... Um, silicone to go in them and I don't know if I can even find any that will fit them I think so but I'm not sure let me get all this purple in here very carefully and like I said I don't want this perfect I want this to be like ocean waves and I'm taking care because I don't really want to have to try to reach down in here and wipe all this off. Okay. And as you can see, it's already setting up. And so I'm just going to oh, push too far. Push this around a little bit. We're just going to give the hint of a wave here. And while it's still a little pliable, I don't want bubbles. And we'll push the wave back in here. Okay, just like that. Okay, now we're going to do the gold. Now this gold finger is really gold, and I love it. When I think of mermaids, I think of, of gold. And I said before I wasn't going to stick blend, but I think I'm going to stick blend this because it's real quick because it, it right. It tried to rise on me. Sorry I'm talking while I'm stick blending. So I think just real quick we'll give a little shaky shaky. And I'm making the biggest mess. 
y'all can't see it. I have to clean it up when I'm done. Okay, here we go. We're going to carefully, carefully, carefully pour this on top of the purple. Now, like I told y'all, it does say on the website, this does accelerate trace uh, very quickly. Or, I mean, accelerate the batter. I guess that's trace too. But, um, and it does. It doesn't give you much time. This is not a fragrance oil you want to swirl. This is one you want to layer. Sometimes accelerating can work in your favor. Especially when you want to create a beautiful layer of some kind. Okay. So we've got our whoops. I'm telling you what, that purple is hard. It's so hard. I'm gonna be able to do this. It's not gonna matter. And I love doing the mystery boxes. I love doing a new um, product here and there and there and something special. And it's really fun. Um, so far, I don't have a lot of subscribers. Just a handful. My, my business is young. It's very new. I'm only a couple years in. And it's been a blast, though, and I don't, I don't want to quit. I really enjoy it. I'm giving it everything I got for five years. If I can't make it go in five years, well, then I'm done. But I don't like not being successful, so I don't plan to quit. I'm really, I want to try to do my best. And, and I do put a lot of love in everything that I do, and I hope it comes through when you order from me. So check out my website, dinkyloves.com, and my other things that I make. Now again, this is rising just a little bit, so I'm going to give it a little little, little, little zap, and I probably shouldn't have done that, but I wanted to add a little pink, because I think mermaids are feminine, and I always think of purple, pink, and gold when I think of a mermaid. You can comment below and tell what colors you think about, if you want to. This scent is very fresh and clean it smells kind of like a spa my daughter's doing my video and she's visiting me she does not live in my state anymore i wish we could keep them with us forever but we can't and she might can tell you what she thinks it smells like unless she's shy she's too shy she doesn't want to but i think it smells it's it's um uh, something you would think of like it's tranquil it's something like if you were Wanting to relax or rest somewhere or, or you know, like the kind of fragrance you would put in your bath water when you want to unwind from a, a long, hard day. That kind of smell. What do you think? She said, yeah. Y'all can't hear. Now, I am very shy, but nobody knows it because I never shut up. But I am. And I don't mind talking to the camera. Cause when I post this, somebody's gonna listen. All my 30 subscribers are gonna listen. One day, maybe I'll have a couple hundred thousand. Until that time, I love you 30, two, three, or six, whatever it is. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for commenting and just watching. Appreciate it. I know it seems stupid for me to bang it down after I swished it up, but I had to, I seen a place where I thought I had an air bubble. Okay, I think we're coming to an end here. And we're going to go back to the blue. Now, I am frosting this soap. I don't know if I can do that much, but we're going to frost this soap with um, just white frosting. And I, I tell you what, I am feeling the heat off this soap. It's hot. Oh, man. 
Did I stick blend it the first time? It didn't look that pretty. That looked, that's what I wanted the first time. Oh, well, who cares if it turns your washcloth blue? Bleach it. It's too pretty not to use it. It's a good color. Now, I have been making cold process soap for just a few years. And um, I actually started in the end of 2016. I uh, went through some things in my life and had a lot of anxiety and stress. And uh, I prayed and talked to the Lord about it and asked Him to give me something to do. And He gave me soap making. Somehow this fell into my lap. I didn't start making soap that year, but I started making sugar scrubs. That was my first thing, I think. I'm pretty sure it was sugar scrubs. It's been so long ago. And um, the rest is history. I love doing this. It's so relaxing. I love that color. Yeah, this color. This is this is the mermaid color right here. It's going to look great with the little mermaid tails we made. My daughters helped me make those. That was so nice. Usually nobody helps me. I do everything myself. From labeling to creating to everything. And that's okay. I mean, I don't expect these kids to share my passion for this. But it's nice when the older girls come by for a visit and bring the grandbabies and, and um, help mama. Love being a mama. Not the best mama, but I try. Okay, let's see if we have this spool. Let's shake it down in there. I think I got it a little high on one side. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to give another bang. Sorry for the noise. And I'm going to wave it up just a little bit. But this is going to be popped on, so I don't even know if you'll see these waves. Okay. Now I have a little bit left, and I'm going to mix it up with just some of this Peacock Mica. The rest of my fragrance. Now this fragrance oil, you can use 5% um, of your recipe. This is a 7-pound batch of soap. That I'm doing here and I'm going to mix this up and hopefully we can get this into a mold before it sets up on us. I always have just a little bit extra and sometimes I make cupcakes with them. And sometimes I don't. It just depends on what we got going on. Let's hope I can get it in something before it sets up too much. Okay, now it's time to pipe this baby. And uh, I did not fragrance this piping because um, the fragrance that I use accelerates trace, and I didn't, I didn't want this to get real hard really fast so I didn't but it honestly is perfect now the piping recipe is a purchase recipe from royalty soaps and I know if you've heard of handmade soap you've heard of Katie Carson she is an inspiration to a lot of soapers and um, I homeschool my children too I'm about the same age as her mom. I'm a little younger, not much. My oldest daughter's the same age as her, so I feel kind of a kinship with her. And uh, we used to watch her. We still do during our lunch break while I'm homeschooling. And uh, I hope she inspires my children to start their own business or to make soap or, or do something with themselves. But um, I bought her piping kit because honestly, I've I bake a lot, but I never really piped anything till I piped soap. And people are always like, 
oh, I bet you pipe cakes. And I'm like, no, I pipe soap. And and now I've tried piping cakes and I can do it. You can pipe soap, you can pipe a cake. But I want this to look girly. I, I want it to be feminine because um, I think mermaids are feminine. I know there's mermen. I know not, nothing toward men. I love men. I love my man. Not every man. But um, I just, this smell to me is just more of a girly scent and Okay, there's our piping. I'm going to put this on my cupcakes. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's time to add the mermaid tail. Do I want it on the top? I'm, I think I want it on the top. What do you think? It looks good. The only thing is it's trying to slide the seashell on it. Okay, I'm going to try to get these in the right spots. I might put some on the side and some in the middle. They don't have to all be the same, do they? No, of course not. We're creative. We can do it like we want to do it. The key is packaging these where they don't get broken. That would be a bummer. I think I got some. So, on my mermaid tail. Get that off it too. Stand it up. Okay. Now I made little marks so I could see what I was doing. And I hopefully I'll get these in the right spot. I'm not always the best at that. I have a terrible perception even when I'm wearing my glasses. I can't hardly tell how to make things straight. It's terrible, I know. Sorry. So hopefully y'all can be forgiving when you get one of these soaps. If yours isn't perfectly straight. We're sticking a little um, seashell beside the mermaid tail. And of course this is going to have some glitter. I'm not a blingy person at all. I mean I don't even wear jewelry. I don't paint my fingernails. Uh, I work hard and so my fingernails they, I cut them off. I don't keep fingernails. Not that people who have fingernails don't work hard. I'm not saying that. I just have never figured out how to keep them. And so I don't care. Um, but I like my soap to be sparkly. And I think I'm liking this design. Alright, last one. And I got the seashell a little backwards. And the soap is getting a little set up to push it. Okay, now we're going to spray this with rubbing alcohol. And we're going to get the glitter out. Got my glitter. The glitter really enhances um, the look of this soap. We're going to use Super Sparkles Enviro Glitter from Nurture Soap. Now, I have a little thingamabob somewhere. Let me find it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there it is. Now I'm going to pour it in this little strainer. And we're just going to shake it on. I have a little pump thing somewhere, but right now I've I done a sale on Friday and everything's unorganized and I've been really busy, like I told you, birthday parties and, and this and that. Look how that glitter just makes that mermaid tail come to life. Can you get it close up on this side? Can y'all see that? Oh man, that's pretty. Now I'm going to... I'm going to get it a little wet with alcohol so it'll stick on there for me. I want a lot of glitter on this. I want this to be super sparkly. I want this to light up somebody's life. 
and we're going to be sneezing <laughs> sparkles. <laughs> I don't know how long. So, this is the finished soap. Let's give y'all a close-up. Oh, gosh. It's so pretty. I love it. I hope y'all love it. I hope you get a mystery box. I really do. I think you're going to love this soap. I think you're going to love the surprises in my mystery box. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is one of the longest videos I've done. I love you very much. Thank you for making Dinky Loves what it is. I love doing it. Check me out. DinkyLoves.com. DinkyLoves.etsy.com. DinkyLovesFlaxseed.etsy.com. And that is me. Love you guys. Bye for now.